Hey everyone, so as you may or may not have seen, I released my new song, You, last Friday. This song is really about taking control of your life. It's about self-empowerment and understanding that you are the only person responsible for where you are in your life and where you're going. And at first, it can sound very daunting, thinking that it's it's all down to you. I think it for me, it comes from a place of comfort, knowing that I have the power to change my life. A lot of times we say that we can't do X because of this and we can't do this because of this. And it's it's all in, within our control. It's all within our control to make ourselves better and to improve our lives. I guess I gotta take the pressure with my head up, always showing up. There's a lot of pressure doing the music. Feel like you need to be the best. You need to constantly be doing this and you need to be doing this thing. A little bit of pressure is good. I think with a lot of a lot of the things you might hear me say this it depends how you frame it putting yourself down and saying you shouldn't be doing this you should be doing this you're useless you're worthless that's not a good form of pressure because it comes from a negative place if you're putting a little bit of pressure on yourself to meet deadlines to push yourself and to keep moving forward i don't think that's a bad thing fake people following faker trends there is so much garbage that you see on social media is ridiculous where people are following these stupid trends and people faking videos on YouTube, whether it could be and faking these reels and stuff. And everyone just wants their five seconds and people will stop at nothing to get that five seconds. It's sad the way that music is now used in Instagram and TikTok and social media in general, where it is just content, where music is just content. Climbing way steeper than it has ever been, another summit to another and a full send. Me talking about that climb and talking about the full summit is this journey really. And you're gonna keep climbing and you think that you're gonna reach this summit where that's it, the journey's over. For example, you reach a certain amount of streams, you get a certain amount of followers and you think, if I just had that amount of followers, if I just had that amount of streams, then I'd be successful, then I'd be fine. It's, it's, it's not like that. And everything, all these goals that we set ourselves, all these goals where we say, this is it, they're just full summits. We get to the top of them and we realise we have still got so much further to go. I think it's good to set goals, but... Once again, I think it's how we frame these goals. I think we should frame them in the way of progression and it being us getting better and improving, not as us being at the end of our journey. Take a look at all the vices and the nights that I shun, drugs and alcohol. No, give me personal funds. I'd, I'd rather just I'd rather just be working on my music <laughs> and doing stuff to, to better my life. Like instead of staying up till four in the morning, going to a nightclub, I'd rather go to the gym in the evening and go to sleep at a reasonable time so I can wake up in the morning again and keep pushing and keep doing what I need to do. It's not for everyone. Some people find enjoyment out of that and you know, it's it's fine. This is, this is just me. Just for fun, take a buggy out a quarter to one, feel the moment Santorini sit and look at the sun. I don't know what it was, but the instrumental just provoked this memory from a holiday back in 2021 I think it is where I was just riding around Santorini on this dune buggy and it was just the most amazing feeling ever and I can't explain why but it was just one of them moments where I'm never gonna forget it want to jet it off can't be scared to go take the ego off I don't know it all what are you gonna do about it? Only you, only you gotta go grab it. Yeah. Wanna make the leap, but you're scared to fall. Gotta face the fact you'll never have it all. Shout it, what you're gonna do about it? Only you, only up to you to grab it. Yeah. Take take the ego off. I don't know it all. I think we're all guilty of this at times. Not having that know it all mindset, it allows us, it keeps us open to being able to learn and to keep growing because no, no one likes to know it all when they don't actually know it all. Want to make the leap, but you're scared to fall. You can't just stay in your comfort zone all the time. Because a lot of the time, them people don't want to leap. They don't want to go because they're afraid that they'll fail. But what if you don't fail? 
what what if everything ends up better you know you've got a you've got to try these things and if you fall and you stumble you get back up it's fine and that is a a stepping stone to actually getting it there was a quote from Marcus Aurelius where it said that the obstacle is the way and we a lot of the time see these little obstacles in our path and we see them as hindering us but really they're just learning blocks on the way to to wherever we're going i ain't impressed anymore with all the diamonds and gold show me what's in your portfolio especially in the rap game and stuff so much is about your image and a lot of the time the image that we're portraying in rap is not what i would consider to be the best image that we could be portraying gangsters cars throwing money away in strip clubs on expensive clothes on drinks buying these ridiculous chains and stuff and it's all it's all just materialism and at the end of the day when when you come into it and when you're young you see all these things and your ideas of success are i want to get a forty thousand pound necklace i want to get this car i want to be able to spend this amount of money and it doesn't matter but as as i've got older you know i just i don't care about them things as much they don't impress me sometimes when you see someone walking around with a hundred pound gucci top on or they're walking around with 600 pound balenciaga shoes which look ridiculous i don't look at these people and think wow you've got 600 pound shoes you must be really cool i just think you're silly you spent 600 pound on a pair of shoes and for what you can buy a pair of shoes and it can take you it you walk the exact same streets whether it's in a 600 pound pair of shoes or a 50 pound pair of shoes jackass is on my phone like mtv we men trying to stomp me but they tap my knee this is probably one of my favorite lines in the in the song and it's referencing to you get if you go into instagram and stuff especially where i'm doing putting music up and i'm putting myself forward and out there trolls and these haters leaving these stupid ridiculous comments and they're trying to put you down by saying you sh you're trash you should stop why are you doing this you should just give up now and they're trying to crush me and they're trying to make me sit down and think oh you know what maybe maybe music isn't for me maybe i shouldn't be doing this but you're not gonna stomp me you're not gonna crush me because these same people that are hating you and say they don't want to see you and stuff. They're helping me out by commenting on my stuff and giving me the engagement. So thank you for that. No one cares if you're trying to drip like Ric Flair. Personality isn't equal by the clothes you wear. Not how far you get, but how many you could take there. Look who's at the table when you didn't even have a chair. This is going back to them things saying that no one cares what you're wearing. No one cares if you're trying to wear the latest designer, this, this and this. Yeah, not how far you get, but how many you can take there. Look who's at the table when you didn't even have a chair. You know, that is going back to the thing. I, I can't remember who who made the quote first, but they're saying that it's lonely at the top. And it makes you think, is it worth it? Is it worth it being at the top and having no one around to celebrate with you? Is that something that you are willing to sacrifice to get to that top? Meditating, thinking, peace, love and success. That's my mantra. I don't care about all of the rest. What I value in life boils down under them three things. It comes under them three categories. You know, if you've got success, but you don't have peace and love, then what's what's the point in it? You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to be stressed. You're going to hate it. And it's just going to be a burden on you. They are the lyrics to my song, You. This song is very much about self-empowerment, feeling good about yourself, taking control of your life. I haven't listened to the song, You. I'll put a link to it in the description. Also along with that, I will put a link to Genius where you can see some of my annotations behind the lyrics and some bits that I might not have explained in this video. Let me know if you want me to do any more lyric breakdowns for some of my songs. I'll see you later. Sandman out.